5.05 a.m. And let me tell you, I was laying down in my bed. It looked like a concert outside, it was like a strobe light. It was going, Alex. Yes, Mother Nature put on a show for us, especially in North Macon this morning. Mm -hmm. Saw a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning. And Perry, not so much. Didn't see a whole lot of rain down there. In fact, none at all this morning. 72 degrees, the current number. A few degrees cooler in Perry than in downtown Macon right now with the wind out of the south-southwest at 7 miles an hour. Now that south-southwest wind is going to shift and come out of the northwest by tomorrow morning. I'll show you why here in just a second. But as for now, temperatures in the low to mid-70s, 74, the current number in Bibb County. Waking up to 74 as well as in Warner Robins this morning. So a few degrees warmer than yesterday morning here across central Georgia, especially as you're if you're along the 75 corridor and a few degrees cooler than yesterday morning if you are to the east. So take a look at the big picture here. Satellite and radar. We've got a front up to our northwest. This front's going to slowly but surely make its way in here to central Georgia and bring us some drier air in the days ahead. But as for now, you can see we're right next to this tropical moisture down here. So that's going to be influencing our weather over the next 24 hours or so. Live radar is quiet for the past hour, but we did see that storm earlier this morning in parts of Bibb County, also Monroe and Jones County. And as we go through the afternoon today, we're going to see more storms like those. Notice some pockets of heavy rainfall possible by the noon one o'clock hour. Then as we roll through the afternoon hours with that flow from the Gulf of Mexico, we're just going to see ample amounts of tropical moisture across central Georgia, which will allow storms to flare up and come down as the stationary front that we've been dealing with the past few days is broken down and provides a lift essentially across central Georgia this afternoon. Those showers and storms will go to bed by the time the sun sets tonight, 9, 10 o'clock. But as we go through the overnight hours, we could see some more storms for, uh, for your Wednesday into Thursday. So here's Thursday at 6 a.m. Notice there's a line of heavy rain from Forsyth to Eatonton. And then through the mid-morning hours, notice how the winds are now coming out of the northwest. The front will roll through. We'll still see an isolated shower chance for your Thursday. But for the most part, I think most people will stay dry for your Thursday beyond the noon hour or so. Then waking up Friday morning in the 60s, it'll be a refreshing morning morning across central Georgia as that front brings some drier air here into the peach state. Certainly welcome after the past few humid days we've seen here in central Georgia. Now the tropical moisture that we are watching is associated with a wave that the National Hurricane Center is watching. All in all, giving this area of disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico about a 50% chance of development over the next five days. I think if we see anything though, it's going to be when this wave makes it into the Atlantic Ocean here over the next uh, three to four days or so. So the long range model Models from Friday and beyond looking at a dry weekend here across central Georgia. There's Saturday, there's Sunday. You can see very few in the way of shower activity as we get that drier air in here. Putting rain chances to it, looking at a 70% chance of rain today, 40% for your Thursday, and then 10% for Friday and there on out. All in all, not looking at a whole lot of rain over the next seven days, although a few communities could see over an inch if you get under one of those locally heavy downpours. So for today, a high temperature of 84 degrees, some numerous storms out there. The average high is 89, so we'll be below that tonight headed for an overnight low of 71 with storms into the overnight seven day looks like this. We're going to be in the 80s through the weekend back to 90 by Monday with the highest chance of rain being today across central Georgia.